Good morning, my Capricorn collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Capricorns? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Oh, Cappies, what's up? Let me get a drink here. Capricorns. What's going on, Capricorns? Let's do y'all song on this. Woo! Lyrical life notes, y'all. Let's, let's get a song for Capricorn. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Capricorn Collective. Capricorn, what's what's up? Someone's shuffling through some music. Someone can't decide what song they want to listen to. So I kind of feel like somebody is, is torn. Capricorn, are you torn? Are you happy one minute and sad the next? What's going on here? I wanted to make sure there wasn't anything hidden back here. I'm in a hurry to get things done. Oh, I rush and rush until life's no fun. All I really gotta do is live and die, but I'm in a hurry and don't know why. But it's in reverse. <sighs> okay, well, it came out in reverse, but when I picked it up, it was in the upright. Now, you see that? You got that little watch there, time. Do you feel like, do you feel like you're being rushed? Because the bottom of the deck is... Some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. This is the third time this song has showed up at the bottom of the deck. It was in the reading I did about the granny. Gemini's reading. And now you're reading Capricorn. Some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. Some of you all, what, what are you rushing around for? What's going on here? What's going on with you, Capricorns? <sighs> Some of y'all could have a lot of tension in your neck. My neck just started tensing up. So you need to just fucking relax. Maybe sit down a minute. What are you in a hurry? Are you hurrying somewhere? Are you hurrying for something to happen or waiting for something to hurry up and happen? Are you hurrying up for something to happen? That don't even make sense. See, some of y'all could just be uh, working so fast you're not even making no sense. Or something is going on. Time ain't making no sense. You're doing something, but maybe you just need to just pause for a second. I'm seeing that 60 minutes time clock. A little stopwatch, y'all. Right? Nine of Pentacles, so it looks like you're doing good financially, so maybe you're just working too fucking hard. What are you working for? What are you working for? Do we cut this deck, Capricorns? What are you working for, Capricorns? What's going on with you? Okay, you're waiting, so you're hurrying up and waiting, right? It's like that, and that little earth right there feels like time clock. You're waiting on something, time. You feel like time's ticking away. The truth, temperance, Queen of Pentacles, the sun... Capricorns, are some of you waiting to see if you're pregnant? We got the two of wands here with the ace of swords. So you're waiting to hear some divine news, which could be about a pregnancy, right? Temperance energy, maybe beginning of the month, you had some concerns. So maybe you had to go get some tests. Queen of Pentacles there with the sun card. And the sun card could literally mean a child, right? A son. Uh, this is beautiful energy. This is healing energy. I feel like you're taking care of yourself. I don't feel like you have, uh, I don't, I'm not feeling like you have a whole lot of restrictions here. No, look at that. The, the sun card, ace of swords, temperance, the sun card, the ace of swords, the ace of cups, the two of cups. The page of cups. Some of y'all, maybe you're going to find out you're going to have a kid. There's gonna, Or if it's not a child, it could just be maybe a new love. Okay? 
uh, that's going to bring happiness. For some of you, though, this could actually be about uh, pregnancy. I'm not going to be for everybody because I think this is a pregnancy that's wanted. You know what I mean? I mean, this is like you've been planning it. You know what I mean? You you could have been taking the, the shots and everything, right? I mean, you know, fucking when the time was right. This was something that you planned out. Some of y'all could have spent some money because you could have been doing this for a while. Maybe that's why that clock was ticking, right? Because maybe you're running out of money to afford it. Because I know what, ain't like thirty, forty thousand dollars a pop. So some of you could be finding out some news, okay? For some of you, this is just love. I'm gonna tell you, you you can't add. You got three major arc, five major arcanas here. You got the Ace of Swords. Look at this. The Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands. What are we missing? Pentacles. What we don't have is Pentacles, but you were Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, so I think the money's looking good. This is like new starts, new love, new truths. This is sweet Jesus. Capricorn, this is hitting the fucking jackpot. If it hasn't happened yet, some of y'all just keep keep doing what you're doing because you're gonna get there. For some of you, that 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 uh, time that could come down to divine timing. Cappies, this almost feels like you're gonna be getting what you've been waiting for, but you know it's like you, if you're trying to rush it. Yeah, we got the magician here. Just chill for a minute. It feels like the Wheel of Fortune energy is at play here. Because for some of you, someone may be having to get out of a relationship. And this doesn't have to be you, Capricorn. Someone that you're supposed to meet. Uh, and this doesn't have to be anybody that you know. They're still in a relationship. Or they're still try trying to tie up uh, any loose ends. Okay? Because someone's moving away from a relationship. They're going to give their cup to somebody else. Because we got this magician energy right here. We got the three of cups and victory. And the uh, ten of wands. This just feels like someone needs to release from a situation before they can move forward. This could just be tying up loose ends, right? Now, for some of you, I'm drawn to say this person, this person could be dealing with their first pancake. Okay? Um... <laughs> So, I don't think you're going to be like a rebound energy. Uh, you're not going to be the first pancake. This person probably that you're waiting for. Those of you manifesting love. This is the, the great opportunities. Okay. Swords, communication. Cups, love. Uh, wands, action. Passion, right? You could just feel like time's ticking because... You know, you know it's coming. You you can feel it. You 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 can feel that like build up to it. It's like that drum roll, uh, that tick tick ticking is like, is like a drum roll. You know it's coming, and it, it's almost like a the, a train. You can hear the whistle, but you don't see it yet. You know, you can feel the tracks vibrate, but you don't see it yet. It's kind of like that anxious, beautiful energy. You know it's coming. You know it's coming right at you, and you know it's gonna be good, but. You're just, uh, you're just waiting. You're feeling that. This is, um, <clears throat> this is like the pressure drop when a storm comes in. It's like you feel it, so you know something's up. The hair may be tingling on the ba uh, back. Of, yeah, look at that. I told y'all it was a wheel of fortune energy. You know, it's just a matter of time. Look at that. Two of wands with the two of pentacles. It's just a matter of time. But there's like decisions need to be made. For some of you, the person you're supposed to meet still has to close out a cycle in order for a new cycle to begin. But I don't think this person is going to be, you're not going to be their first pancake. So if they're coming out of like a major committed relationship, they done fucked around a little bit. They, you know, they dated a little bit. So this is going to be an energy that is probably going to be a little more apt to settle down because They've, they've dated, right? They've been out there. They've, they've done the bad pancake situation. They've, you know, there's no rebound energy. This is someone that's done everything. So some of you, someone just has to wrap up a cycle in their life for your new one to come in. But the thing is, you're feeling it. 
you are so freaking feeling it with all these beautiful major arcanas in here. And that's why uh, you could feel like you're rushing or that you want to rush it. It's like the anticipation. You can feel it. You can feel the buildup, right? It's like in a, a beautiful orchestra piece. You you feel the buildup coming. And it just keeps crescendoing, crescendoing, crescendoing. And you're ready for the, you know, the, the big finale. But it just keeps building and building and building. And you're kind of feeling that, that pressure, I think. I think that's what it is. And you're like... <sighs> Definitely could be, I don't want to say anxiety, but you could be feeling maybe a tad bit of a, uh, almost want to say like a nervous energy, maybe like that anticipation when you're going up on a roller coaster and you know things are about to get interesting, but you kind of have that, that it's, it's like that hesitation moment before shit starts getting good. Yeah, a knight of wands here. We got the Knight of Wands, the Page of Swords, and that Seven of Wands. I think this is, this is somebody, if they, they've been watching you, you might not know who the fuck they are. Because I'm not feeling, uh, with this beautiful energy here, I'm not feeling it being someone from the past that you've got to work some shit out with first. You know what I mean? This is going to be someone new. It's going to be, you know, everything new. There's nothing from the past that's going to factor into anything. Y'all going to start from a fresh uh, beginning. So from day one, all your memories are going to be from then on. You know what I mean? There ain't nothing lingering from the past. Um, and I seen uh, 1138 when I said that, which goes to 1111, 1111, a divine encounter. A lot of you are feeling that. Your person could have been watching you and seeing you, but they knew they couldn't do anything until they got out of a situation, right? They had to get away from somebody before they could come up to you, right? And that, that's not a negative energy. If they were dating somebody, they got to just kind of break it off. And who the hell wants to break off? For some of you, being close to the holidays, right? So maybe they're going to wait till Christmas is over and the New Year's is over before they dump somebody's ass. Although some, for some of you, they may dump their ass after Christmas to give them a week to get over it for New Year's. Uh, so, <laughs> but someone's been waiting to come in. And remember, y'all, that don't have to be anybody that you know. This could be anybody at any point in your day that you fucking come in contact with, okay? Um, this is beautiful energy. But I feel like you're feeling that buildup to it. And some of you, that that's why you, you're kind of feeling rushed. It's just that anticipation of it. It's like going up the, the start of a roller coaster before it starts to get fun. And that's a positive reference, as in it's going to be a fun ride, especially if you love roller coasters, right? Uh, for some of you, if you don't, you could be feeling that fear almost. Spirit's bringing something beautiful to you, but I don't think you're going to hesitate, Capricorns. I really don't feel hesitation on your part. I feel you're feeling the energy. You're definitely feeling that energy build up. Uh, but whoever you're supposed to meet, I think they're wrapping up their shit. And for some of you, maybe it is with the holidays coming up. You know, maybe they just couldn't see dumping somebody right towards the holiday, especially if they were, you know, planning to spend time with the family and shit. I know they're going to eventually have to do it, but, you know, maybe they're just kind enough to get through the holidays and any engagements that they planned with somebody. So, uh, you know, they, that's a beautiful energy, though. They're going to wait till after the new year and all the... All the all the parties and stuff that someone might have had planned with them before they dump them. So, you know, that shows character, too, because they could have just dumped them and done their shit, but they're going to fulfill the obligations that they have to fulfill before they come towards you, Gemini, or Capricorn. Some of y'all, it could be a Gemini. Gemini's reading was really fucked up. Capricorn, you might want to check theirs out, but they were all about just holding back doing anything, right? Cappies, I think you're just waiting on your person uh, for them to come forward. And I think once they end the cycle that they're in, in whatever they have going on, uh, they're going to come charging in. Because they don't know what the fuck they want. Okay? Because uh, where's it at? I didn't want to give you all this sneak peek, but we might as well because we got time. I just noticed uh, 1444. This is how they see you. Right? They've been waiting to bring this offer in. The star here, the nine of pentacles. 
The Five of Cups and the Empress? This person sees you. And that Five of Cups, for some of you, is the fact that they couldn't come in sooner. Hell, for some of y'all, you might have two people looking at you. Because behind this, uh, earth, uh, earth, I was going to say Earth sign. So some of y'all could be a water sign or an Earth sign. For some of you, it's somebody that you work with. But they know they can't come toward you because they knew they know it'd be a conflict. So you could have two different people wanting to look at you. And for a lot of you, that's why you're feeling that energy. Because look, this is how they see you. The star, the nine of pentacles, and the empress. Yes, masculines, you can be in this energy, right? This five of cups is they're like, they can't deal with this, let alone the fact that you're a fucking empress. So you're healed, you're healthy, you take care of yourself, you got your shit together, your money together, you look good. And then, bam, you're like the cream of the fucking crop. So someone's looking at this and thinking, fuck, I ain't got a chance. And then, bam, here you go. And some of them are sad that they can't come towards you faster. Because maybe for some of you, they know you got multiple people looking at you. But I don't think you're going to hesitate going out with somebody, getting out there, Capricorns. I don't think you're going to hesitate. I mean, you know, you're the devil, so... <laughs> You're not afraid to get out there and meet people. You're not going to be too scared of that. You're, you're, you know how to dance with the devil. You know the devil's playbook. So you're, but I do feel you're, you're feeling that energy. You know, there's something beautiful coming in. Um, because someone definitely sees you in very high regard. You, you have two energies there, actually. Capricorn, a cancer or a water sign. And an earth sign. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, right? Uh, you got two energies that could definitely be thinking very strongly about you. One of them could be somebody at work. So even if you're feeling that at work, uh, and I'm not picking up like like weird ass stalkery vibes. This is like mutual respect type energy, right? Like somebody's thinking, damn, why can't I uh, approach uh, Capricorn and and get something going, right? But if it's a work situation, maybe it's something they know is going to be frowned on, so they can't. So they kind of know a whole lot of shit's got to change. Help for some of you, it could be someone that you work with that changes jobs just so they can ask your ass out. It feels like there's someone has to do something on their end in order to take action. And I think they're going to do it. But it's not going to be a negative. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it's going to be so they can come in and give you uh, a solid commitment. This is like commitment energy, right? Um, but Capricorns, I love the fact that I don't feel you're like turned off by this. I don't think you're going to fight it. You are you might be surprised. Uh, a lot of you, that could be what... <sighs> Once it occurs, you may feel that release. So if you're going about your day and, and by chance you just feel like a weight's been lifted off your shoulder, for some of you... That could be this person actually uh, getting themselves out of the situation they need to get out of in order to come toward you. Uh, when they relieve that burden, that, that kind of pressure they have on themselves, you could literally feel it. So if you happen to do that, just maybe mark the date and the time because you're going. You're probably going to feel like all of a sudden all that weight's been lifted off your shoulder. And you're good. And I don't want to say you're going to be at peace, but you're going to feel an ease, and and that pressure is going to be gone. Because right now, I think it's like it's like that orchestra. It just it, it's crescendoing, it's crescendoing, it's crescendoing, it's building, it's building, and you're ready for the final note. But it just keeps building, and you're like motherfuckers, right? <laughs> Capricorn, I love that energy though. Uh he who can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ring a ring. You know, I started yours getting the drink. This person might have a little bit of an issue uh, coming up and actually talking to you. Okay, they could. Uh, communication might be a little awkward at first. I, Capricorns, I think you're you're going to know. You're going to know the connection when this person is standing in front of you. Because you're going to feel that, that just that instinct. You know what I mean? And this, this ain't just an attraction. You are going to know that that was the 
uh, energy you were feeling because you're definitely connected to somebody. Some of you two people. You could you could seriously be having a choice, Capricorn. Uh, water sign or an earth sign. I love that for you, Capricorns. Peace, love, and light.